Hey everybody, I hope the clarinet level one register exercise has been going well for you and you've gotten to spend some time on those and, and get those really solid under your under your fingers. Today we're going to talk about your clarinet register exercises level two. Um, level two just adds the extra note up above. It builds upon the next twelfth into the altissimo register, whereas level one just worked on the first twelfth from the, the shallow to the to the clarion registers. Um, some basic things that, that are always going to stay the same is your hand position, your airstream, all of those things. We're still going to be slurring all of those exercises. Remember that fast, angry cat air. Otherwise, those upper notes aren't just, they're not going to come out. And if they do, it's not going to sound like anything anybody wants to hear. So the big difference from here is when we get to the to get to the third register, we're just going to lift our first finger up on our on our left hand. We're not going to stick it way out. We're just going to lift it up a little bit, and then once we get to the second note, we're going to start putting our D sharp key down as a resonance key to make make the note respond a lot easier. And then remember that's the top shelf key that's towards you, and your pinky will add into that. So as we get to our second note, which will be B flat, we'll start adding that just for the top note each time, not for the bottom two notes. So our notes that we're going to use today are low A, B flat, chromatic B natural, C, C sharp, remember it's the key really, really close, and D. And then again, we'll start on the low note, push the register key, and then pop our first finger. And then once you get from starting at low B flat, when you get to the, to, the, to the highest notes, we'll add that resonance key each time. And again, just like everything else, we'll use our metronome. And so we'll play this as a half note, half note, half note, and then take, a, take a, a beat or two of rest between. That last one's just a little bit more difficult. You have to, to kind of vocalize up a little bit more if you can arch your tongue and blow a little bit colder of air, but that would be the high F sharp that's way, 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 way up above the staff. Um, there's a lot of other fingerings for that that you would use if you're actually playing that note in your in your music, but as this is an exercise just to get you up to it, it's it's okay to play it, play it that way on an, on an as needed basis. So again, do this as part of your a part of your warm up and practice routine. I'd still keep those level one exercises, your just your first register jump, your low F scale, your upper C scale, and then do the level two exercises each day as as a supplement to that. Again, hope you're hope you're doing well and have a great day and keep practicing.